Hey, this is Julia and Paul from Evolve and Relaunch Education, and we are business and mindset trainers with over 30 years combined experience in coaching and training thousands of individuals all around the world to take their success to the next level so that they can be at the top of their game mentally and emotionally. So in this video, we're going to unpack some of the most commonly overlooked areas that might be affecting you in your business. So we're going to look at what is the missing piece that can take your business success to the next level. And whether you're a coach, an entrepreneur, or a six or seven figure business owner, we guarantee this video is going to get you thinking differently. Yeah. So we're going to look at your thinking and as a business owner, what you're focused on, because where focus goes, energy flows, and it can either make or break your business success. So Paul. What are one of the key things that you see in people and what can impact their focus in business? Yeah, so a common thing that I've noticed is a lot of people slash business owners are focusing on problems instead of focusing on potential. But if you focus on potential, you get more of them. So there's a cool story about this. Years and years ago, there was a shoe company and they sent out one of their best reps overseas to go look at potential places to expand the business. They sent them out to a developing country. And in that country, the rep got there, jumped off the plane and started looking around. And they started noticing no one was wearing shoes. And they were like, oh, there's all these people not wearing shoes. So they got on the phone, they called the office and said, hey, look, I'm really gonna struggle. No one wears shoes here, no one would wanna buy shoes. And so they didn't find the opportunity or the potential that was there. They saw a problem but another company sent their best rep out. They landed in that country, they started looking around, and guess what? No one was wearing shoes. They literally saw so much possibility. They jumped on the phone and they were so excited. They said, hey, look, no one's got shoes here. There's a huge market and so much potential for us to go out, share what we have, and help these people. So the same environment was there, but the focus was different. One was looking for problems, one was looking for potential. So if you find potential, you're going to find more opportunities to help people and grow your business. A lot of people in business, let's say you're not making sales. They see that as a problem. But if you see that as potential, maybe I can offer a better offer. Maybe I can bundle my service. Maybe I can have a downsell. So the people that can't afford my current offer has something cheaper to go to that serves them better. Literally any challenge in your business can be something that turns into a potential for you to serve better or offer something else. The thing that stands out in what you just shared is that what we filter for, we find. And so if you're filtering for problems in your business, you will always find them. Like a business is never done. I don't know if you've noticed, but your to-do list in business it's never finished. There's always more things and there's always more problems if you look. And whilst a SWOT analysis is a great idea, it's always good to look at our threats and weaknesses, but also what are your strengths and opportunities. And as we know, the flip side to every challenge, there is an opportunity. And so having that resilience and that mental sharpness to notice all challenges and obstacles as a potential opportunity is a superpower that you can really build as a muscle. One of the things that I've seen in terms of focus are business owners who are actually going around in circles. And what I mean by that is people who are taking lots of action and they're looking really busy, but they're maybe not taking the right or the best action. So what I mean about this is they're not taking action that is what I would call aligned. One of my favorite sayings is alignment before action in anything in life. If you can take time to create that conscious and unconscious alignment, then you're going to get much smoother and more effective and efficient results and when i refer to like the conscious and unconscious alignment what i really mean is the part of you that says what you want to do and the part of you that actually does it making sure that they match up and they align and there are a lot of business owners that are really busy but they're not actually getting any traction or momentum in the right areas what have been some other things that you've noticed about action and focus well It's not just about taking action, it's about prioritizing your action for impact versus urgency. So whether you've heard the Pareto principle, this is where 20% of the actions you take get you 80% of the results. That's something that most business owners are thinking about. They're not looking at their to-do list and going, what is the one action that if I took today would make the biggest impact? A lot of business owners are focused on urgent things, things they need to get done immediately because they think, oh, that's going to be the thing because it's most immediate, but that might not be the most impactful item. So it's important to sometimes zoom out because a lot of people are stuck in that reactiveness in their business instead of zooming out and thinking long-term and thinking about making a bigger impact 
and really reducing the amount of actions they take because a lot of people they get into a bit of a sabotage pattern sometimes as well and they keep themselves busy because they're starting to hit their glass ceiling they might have a level of what they think is possible in their business and they sometimes distract them from doing the things that would take it to the next level yeah and so that glass ceiling can be sneaky can't it like it's not always immediately obvious mm-hmm. but a really good indication is if you are noticing that you're procrastinating on things or if you get an opportunity or an invitation to step up into something and you get what we label as a feeling of growth mm-hmm. we call that being in the fog and as a business owner you are going to be living in the fog. You're going to be living in those feelings of growth because literally every time you go to take action on something in your business, it's the first time probably you've ever done that level of action. It's the first time you've launched that particular product. It's the first time you've raised your prices to that level. It's the first time you've spoken in front of that many people. Mm. Whatever it is, you're always going to be feeling those feelings of growth. And if you're noticing that you're procrastinating or inaction or you know, creating conflict so that you're not having to do certain things, that can be a really big example that you're hitting that glass ceiling and that there's some subconscious sabotage that's kicking in. And I'm really passionate about educating business owners about this fact that your unconscious mind, it's programmed, it's hardwired to protect you. And sometimes that looks like keeping you safe, keeping you small, not doing things that you quote unquote know you should be doing in business to get the results and to move the needle. That's that unconscious mechanism that kicks in. And that's why we're so passionate about equipping business owners with the mindset tools Mm. that really, from our perspective, if we think about the Pareto principle, it is the difference that is going to shift. It's for us, the 80% is is the mindset and the 20% is actually the actions you take. And so if you can be in alignment, knowing that your business will only ever reflect you, like as the business owner, your business will reflect you and it, your business can really truly only grow to the extent that you do. So the more you can understand these unconscious patterns that are always playing out in life and shift them, the more you can actually start to grow and expand what's possible for you when it comes to your business and your results. 100%. Most business owners know the importance of not just working in their business, but working on their business. But what most business owners don't really get is working on themselves literally has a ripple effect in everything in their business. It's overlooked by most people. It is literally the most important thing you can do because like Juliet mentioned, your business reflects you and any internal limits that you have gets reflected on what you think is possible in your business. It won't grow past the level that you're keeping it at. So as you grow, your business will grow as a byproduct of that. Yeah. So. As you expand, your business will expand. So any limits in your mindset or beliefs, they are unfortunately also going to limit your business. We love creating spaces for you to be able to tangibly shift those things and you will visibly see differences in your business and the action and the flow that you can actually achieve as well. So if you want to dive deeper into some of these concepts, we have got some free resources for you below. Click the links below. And also if you want to help uncover or shift any of your blind spots or find out where you might be stuck right now in your business or life, feel free to book a free consult with one of our master coaches below. Hopefully you got a lot from today's video. Thank you so much for tuning in. Keep evolving and we'll see you soon.